just wanted to say before the video, please like and subscribe. It took me a very long time to edit this video, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Hey guys, it's x here, and today I'm going to show you the best seven moves you'll ever see in the NBA. Let's get started. Seven on our list. So number seven is Victor Oladipo's full stop crossover. The purpose of this move is to basically, the purpose of this move is to have the defender think you're going in, but do a crossover to stop yourself, which gives you a wide open shot. Let's show you the clip. 14 to two run for Indiana. Oladipo knocks over Rivers and banks it in. Gets, a, he gets some space, knocks down the shot. Two run for Indiana. Oladipo knocks over Rivers and banks now we are number six. So on number six, we're, um, the move I'm going to show you is Giannis's Antetokounmpo spin move and the layup. And this is the purpose. To have the defender think you're going one way, but spinning to the other to give you a wide open layup. He drops his pivot foot into um, beside the defender and then spins, which gives him a wide open layup. This move is very effective because it gives you a wide open layup, which you'll probably make. So let's show you the clip. Enos Cannon, and then here's that patented spin move that right to left. Number five on the list is Luka Doncic's fake fadeaway and step and shot. So I like to call it post step step and shot because he does a post move, he fakes a mid range and then steps in with his pivot foot. So that is a pretty good move, and I'll explain you the purpose. It's to fake a fadeaway shot, but step in with your pivot foot, which gives you a wide open layup. See a couple minutes from there as Doncic turns twice and then lays it in. What great footwork. He uses his body inside. He's got 6'10 Bam on him and able to spin and move off the pivot foot here, getting him to buy on that fake and then stepping through very nice. Number four. So number four is James Harden's step back. So the purpose of this move is to use one leg to fake that you're going in to drive, but then stepping back, which gives you a wide open three-pointer or a mid-range. So I'll show you the clip right now. Played by Shabbat. Gets it away. And hits. Come on. That's a step back. A step back. Pump fake three. Now we are number three on our list. So number three is going to be Dirk Nowitzki's one-legged fadeaway. So you can see many players do this move, such as Kobe, Kevin Durant. But this one I chose Dirk Nowitzki because he's probably the one who invented it. So the purpose of this move is to spin around and have your opposite knee pointing towards the defender. And... So you'll basically get a wide open shot. Because when the knee is pointing to the defender, and the defender doesn't want to get close to you because he doesn't want to get knee in the stomach. So that'll probably give you a wide open shot, which you should try whenever you're playing basketball. So I'll show you the clip right now. I don't think we've ever seen a guy this size with this type of shooting touch in the NBA. You know you're good when other NBA players are now trying to imitate this type of fadeaway jumper off the one foot. Kyrie Irving, James, tough shot, oh, he dunked him, <laughs> off one leg. Aldridge steps back, goes that Dirk Nowitzki. Yes, he did, a one-legged fall away. Now tell me this is not Dirk Lowe. Like. One foot shot by Dirk Nowitzki, he's got so many players in the league emulating that shot now. Be Munro Ginobili's hero step. So this move is very effective because you could trick the defender that you're going one side, but then going to the other side. You could also bring the ball over your head. So I just explained the purpose, so let's get into the clip. On the drive and the reverse! Ginobili attacks, goes up, spins it up and in. which is the number one move in the NBA, I chose Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's skyhook. So basically this move is super effective and I'll show you why. So the purpose of it is to have the defender on the other side of you, you could be in the paint and you could try to shoot for a layup while you bring like the ball in a circular motion to bring it over your head like this. So you want to have the ball under your um, heart and you're going to bring it around, basically like, a, like you're forming a circle and then you could have a wide open layup. So I'll show you the clip.
right, guys, that was it for my video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I spent a lot of time on it. So please remember to like and subscribe. And I really appreciate it if you made it this far into the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.